Charles Johnny Cash as we work our way to Kenny. Kenny, you're looking fit and buff there, yeah. man. You ready to, to do some rock climbing? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I am for the last one. Thank you very much for that compliment. It's just a loose shirt, Wayne. It's a whole trip. <laughs> no, no, no. You okay. Oh, but, well, as you mentioned, Sister Wayne and uh, Stacy, what an amazing space has been repurposed. Uh, a Masonic Temple right here in Ohio City. Now, we're down into the boulder bouldering area. So, Jet's going to do a dynamic. We're all going to support him. Okay, here we go. Take your time, Jet. Take your time. Here he goes. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Nice. That is a dynamic move. All right, so Chris, back up a little bit. Everybody get in place. We're going to do something that's going to be really cool. We're all going to boulder at the same time, except for Jet. He can save his arms. Okay, here we go in three, two, one, boulder. All right, so let's talk about the bouldering room, Kevin. This is really cool. Absolutely. This is a, a lower level yep. here in the, in the temple. Yeah, we uh, dug down. We excavated down and added about six and a half feet so that we can get the height here. The climbing, the climbers as they're climbing, you can see they're going up. These walls go almost 16 feet tall, mm -hmm. and they have these, they yeah. have these no, large pads on the floor here. So if they land, they could uh, land safely. And you guys literally, you teach people how to fall yes, when you do exactly. this. Yeah. And speaking of, we got Sam right behind us. Okay, exactly. so let's talk about that. So bouldering is, you know, so we see there's no ropes, there's no belays. So it's, yep. it kind of this is what you would do out in when you were rock climbing in the area, right? That's right. So bouldering is a different type of style. Uh, rope climbing, which you saw upstairs, when you climb up cliffs. Bouldering is typically the style of you climbing without ropes. And if you fall, you fall on these nice big pads. And there's extra, extra padding here. We saw padding in the other two rooms, but the padding here is super duper yeah, cushy. Yeah, almost 14 inches thick of padding. So even if you fell from the top, You'll have a nice soft landing, that's for sure. And you're only falling 16 feet, so that's not bad at all. Yeah. Now, back here, you have a little training facility. We have someone that's going to jump on this training wall. Kevin, why don't you explain yes, exactly. what this is here? Besides the climbing areas here, you can also work out here. We also have this training area, which is a, called a spray wall, where climbers can pick whatever routes they want to go up. Mm -hmm. On the right here, we have some things called campus boards, so you can really train those smaller holds. Yeah. We have a, a workout area, a bench, a squat rack, some free weights. Mm -hmm. So you, know, you don't even need to just come climbing here. You can do yoga, you can do workout, you can participate in the co-working center. There's a lot of other things to do besides you know, just traditional climbing, but there is a lot of climbing. Too. Yeah, there's tons of climbing, which is really great. So you really can take someone from the beginner and work your way to an advanced state, right? That's absolutely correct. So mm -hmm. great for all uh, age levels, skill levels, people that have never done it before, super fun. We have a great community here. Uh, people get to meet all the time and it's just a great little area to meet other you know, people who are interested in being, uh, having good health and, yeah. and wellness. You and Karen have a, a tremendous background known interla internationally for your climbing. Yes, you guys correct. have written climbing manuals. That's right. Right. You have, you, both of you have climbed in some of the, the best spots, like, including like Moab, Red Rocks, That's right. you know, across the United States. So you guys are bringing a really cool experience to everyone here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Karen and I, who are, we're the owners, we were uh, a sponsored climbers for over a year. Okay. We actually wrote the first rock climbing guidebook for all of China and Hong Kong. Wow. And, uh, you know, we're all about that bringing that outdoor experience indoors and then just helping others get into climbing. So and we're just excited to apply that, you know, large breadth of knowledge to making a world-class gym. Not to mention the coding classes you provide, the summer classes you can provide, the, the co-op yoga space you have here. So what you guys are seeing as we're gonna wrap up right now, 18,000 uh, square feet Correct. dedicated to climbing, but there's pretty much about the same amount that you're dedicating to other community programs. That's right. We'll talk about that. We're gonna harness up and we're gonna get me going. All right, we're gonna go back to you crazy, wacky kids in the studio. and. A really cool place. Listen to some jazz. It has some Thelonious Mutt going, just for the record. Nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is wow. good place. Kenny Crumpton. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, there's people kicking up a notch. You know? uh, Why do. not? That's Kenny.